So in my other video, I made a promise that I would make another video comparing the rates across all advertising platforms. Which now that I come to think of it, is nearly impossible due to the unlimited ways that you can advertise. I mean, I can stick a name on the back of my sister's bunny and pay him to go walk around the park to gain some exposure. That can be considered as a form of advertising too. Instead, I'm going to focus on these five types of advertising platforms over a span of five separate videos. And this is part one of five. Newspaper advertising. When I first started on my research, I thought this was going to be a walk in the park. But as it turned out, it's a freaking jungle. And you will see later, there are a lot of factors that determine the pricing of newspaper ads. The field of newspaper advertising is divided into two platforms, print advertising and digital advertising. Let us first take a look at print advertising. There are three ways where you can advertise in print. Classified ads, classified display ads, and display ads. Classified ads are typically used by small business owners looking to hire employees or private individuals seeking to sell high-value items like a car or a boat. Classified ads are limited to only using words to advertise. No special fonts, borders, or pictures are allowed and are confined to just one column. Classified ads are also the cheapest of the three and they are either charged by the number of words or lines in the ads. In addition, all of the classified ads are listed in a classified section of the newspaper and are listed under specific categories. Classified Display Ads Like the classified ads, the classified display ads are also listed in the classified page of the newspaper and are listed under specific categories. The differences are that classified display ads are allowed to host images, customize their fonts and sizes, create borders around the ads, have the options to be printed in colors, and have the ability to extend beyond just one column. But the most important part, and this is where it can get a little confusing, is that it is priced by column inch. So what is a column inch? It is a measuring system that newspaper publishers use to determine the cost of advertising for classified display ads and display ads. The column measures the width, and the inch measures the height. A typical newspaper consists of 6 columns and 21 inches, for a total of 126 column inches. One full page is equivalent to 126 column inches. Now, for example, if the rate of advertising is $2 per column inch, and we want to advertise on the whole page, then we need to multiply the price by 126 column inches, which will be $252 per day. And if you think that's expensive, I hope you don't get a heart attack when we take a look at some real ad rates later on. Display ads are what we normally see and associate with when we read the newspaper, and it's the most expensive of the three. Unlike the classified display ads, which exist only in the classified page of the newspaper, display ads are free to roam the different sections of the paper and have no size limitations, meaning they can take up a whole page or even just half a page. Before we move on to examine their ad rates of those platforms from different publishers, we need to understand that the cost of advertising depends on several factors. Publication Circulation The newspaper circulation is the number of copies printed and distributed on an average day. A big publisher like the New York Times has a daily circulation of 571,000 copies a day, while a small publisher like the Bozeman Daily Chronicle, Montana, has a circulation of 14,000 copies a day. Obviously, when you have the potential to reach more audience, the more authority your paper has and therefore, the more expensive you are. New York Times has a rate of $279 per column inch, while Bozeman Daily Chronicle charges $22 per column inch. 
days of the week. The rate of advertising on Sunday is typically higher due to the higher circulation on that particular day. In the Bozeman Daily Chronicle, the rate for Sunday ad is just a dollar more than the dailies. In big cities, you can expect a wider difference between the two. Sizes. Pretty self-explanatory, although I will add that two columns by three inches is the same as three columns by two inches. They both have a sum of six inches, but with a different shape. Color versus black and white. The World Journal is a pretty big Chinese newspaper publisher, publishing in big cities like LA, San Francisco, and New York. In this example, we see that the price difference between color and black and white can be very drastic, ranging from a few hundred dollars to a thousand dollars. Positions or sections. When you run a display ad, by default, the position of your ad is determined by the newspaper publishers, and it might be delegated to a section that does not benefit your business. For example, your business sells cosmetics. But the publisher puts your ad in the sports section. That might not be ideal. You would want your ad to be placed in the health or style section, somewhere your readers can relate to. This method is called run of press. If you want your ad to appear in a specific section of the newspaper, this is called premium position. If you're running a sports store, you want to advertise in the sports section, but the premium price can cost you 25% or more. Than the standard run of press. Also, if you want to advertise in the premium position, you usually have to commit to advertise for a number of times to even be considered. Frequency. How frequently do you want to run your ads? Are you running it daily, once a week, twelve times a year? The more often you advertise, the more discount you get. Dollar volume contract. This is another way to get discount when you advertise. Basically, you would have to fork over the money up front and commit to one of the tiers listed in the contract. For example, in the Bozeman Daily Chronicle, if advertised normally, the open rate is twenty dollar and ninety five cents per column inch. On the other hand, if I sign a contract and pay two thousand four hundred dollars up front, I get to enjoy a discounted rate of seventeen dollars and eighty one cents per column inch on the weekdays. With this rate, I will be able to advertise up to 135 column inches before the fund is depleted. Remember how a full page of paper is 126 column inches? You're pretty much broke after running a full page ad in one day. Classified ad. We mentioned earlier that classified ads are priced either by the word count or the number of lines. In this example, The Advocate, a Louisiana newspaper. The open rate per line during the weekday is four dollar and eighteen cents. If we take a look at this lawn tractor ad that consists of four lines, it means that the ad will cost sixteen dollar and seventy two cents per day. Display ads. Display ads are priced by column inch. We'll be using the ad rate card from Washington Post as a reference. An open rate is the rate for running a single ad. It is used if you want to advertise occasionally, or just to test the water. It is also the most expensive because there's no discount. The open rate for a daily is nine hundred twenty-seven dollars per column inch. The price for a two by two or four column inch ad would cost three thousand seven hundred and eight dollars per day. Weekly, monthly, annual contract. Here, the annual frequency rate comes with two options. You can advertise three to twelve times per year at a rate of seven hundred thirteen dollars per column inch, or thirteen or more times per year at a rate of six hundred seventy dollars per column inch. Let's say I'll go for the minimum and commit to three insertions per year, and I'll like to run a two by two, four column inch ad every time. That will be seven hundred thirteen dollars times four column inch, times three insertions. With this annual contract, we're looking to pay eight thousand five hundred and fifty-six dollars to run three ads. 
the monthly frequency schedule comes with three options. Let's choose the minimum of two insertions per week. But wait, it states that we must run for a minimum of four consecutive weeks. That means four weeks times two insertions per week. We'll be running eight ads total. If I run a two by two, four column inch ad each time, that's $563 times four column inches times eight insertions. With this monthly contract, we're looking to pay $18,016 to run eight ads. Newspaper are usually clogged with ads. Tiny ads are more often than not overlooked. That's why some businesses prefer to run full page ads to gain all the spotlights. Under the full page frequency rate, we can choose to run 12, 24, or 36 pages. Let's run a 12 page ad. My initial reaction when I saw the rate was, oh wow, $623 per day? That's so cheap. Then I realized it's per column inch. So it's $623 times 126 column inch, and that's, oh, $78,498 per page. Now let's multiply that number by 12 pages that we agreed upon, and the total is $941,976 to run 12 full pages of ads. Dollar Volume Contract We can see the different tiers of investment that you can pledge at the dollar volume discount rate. The more money you invested, the steeper the discount. Let's invest in the first tier with $175,000 at a rate of $697 per column inch. Again, I want to run my ad in 2x2 two two, 4 column inches. It will cost me $2,788 to run an ad. With the money I invested, I can run my ads 63 times. Outside of advertising in the newspaper editorials, you can also advertise with newspaper inserts, sticky notes, poly bags, or local publications. One last thing that you should know of is the lead time, or reservation deadline, for your ad publication. Some publishers require you to submit your materials days in advance to secure a spot for your ad. So, these are all the information on print advertising. We won't spend a lot of time on digital advertising because I am saving that for a future video. But I just want to make you aware that some newspaper publishers will put your ad on their websites for free if you are already advertising in print. Some newspaper publishers separate the two entities so you have to pay extra to advertise digitally. Since we are on the topic of print advertising, I'm also going to touch a little bit on advertising in the magazine. Magazines are published at a slower rate than newspapers. Some are published weekly, monthly, annually, and anything else in between. And their rates are generally higher too. Not all rate cards use the column inch formula to calculate their advertising rates. Most magazines offer rate based on set modules or predetermined sizes. Do you want to advertise on the full page, half a page, one-fourth of a page, or one-eighth of a page? As with newspaper advertising, their circulations, colors, and positions also affect the price of the ads. Advertising a full-page ad with Time Magazine will cost $265,100 per issue. Advertising a full-page ad with People Magazine will cost $402,900 per issue. Advertising a full-page ad with Food Network magazine will cost $106,200 per issue. Looking into the ad rate for local magazines can be slightly less daunting. The locale magazine that publishes in the Southern California will run you $10,000 per issue for a full-page ad. The Minnesota Insurance Magazine runs at an even lower rate at $898 per issue for a full-page ad. 
One last thing, the lead time or reservation deadline for magazines are much longer than the newspaper. It might take a few months before an ad is published. So what is the outlook for print advertising? Is it still worth your time and money? According to the Pew Research Center in 2017, newspaper circulation both print and digital fell 8% in 2016, marking the 28th consecutive year of declines. The newspaper advertising revenue in 2017 also decreased by 10% from 2016. Comparing the statistics between print advertising and digital advertising, Digital advertising accounted for 31% of newspaper revenue in 2017, a steady increase from 17% in 2011 and 29% in 2016. So is the newspaper dying? Not quite. Since the arrival of television in the 1950s, newspapers were already on a decline. Half a century later, the newspaper industry is still thriving and remains a trusted source for information with millions of readers each day. Newspaper Pros So what are the perks for advertising in the newspaper? Affordability Although it might seem expensive, newspaper advertising is actually much more affordable than other types of traditional advertising. Ease of Production you can easily write and design your own copy or ad without hiring anyone. Longer retention. Radio and TV commercials disappear into thin air after their 30 seconds of airtime. Your newspaper is not going to just disappear into thin air. Hopefully. Portability. Readers can read anytime, anywhere they want. Universal appeal. Newspaper appeals to all kinds of readers. Focus on local customers. More likely than not, your business caters to the local community, so you don't need to spend a fortune advertising nationwide. Flexible ad size. With the column inch method, you can tailor the size of your ad according to the budget you have in mind. Inserts coupons. People love to save. It's proven to be more effective than just advertising. Short lead time. Short lead time allows you to get news out in a timely fashion. Established trust. Consumers respect the contents published in the newspaper. They will feel more confident doing business with you. Ad acceptance. Readers know going in that they will be bombarded by advertisements when they read the newspaper, so naturally they don't mind seeing the ads. Newspaper Cons So what are the disadvantages for advertising in the newspaper? Older Demographic Research has shown that the general demographic who reads newspaper are over the age of 65. It's probably not a good choice if you're looking for a younger audience. Declining circulation and readership. Why is there a decline in readership? Well, if you refer back to the first point, the demographic is mostly elderly people. And as time goes on, um, you know, they begin to catch on to technology. Yeah, that's what happens. Shorter shelf life. Most newspapers are published daily. That means people are always looking forward to the next day's morning newspaper. If you only run your ad once, there is a good chance that many people might have missed your ad. Ad clutter. Newspaper editorials are surrounded with ads. And since it's clogged with ads, small ads can be easily overlooked completely. Inferior image quality. Compared to the picture quality in the magazine, newspaper images are dull and blurry even when it's in color. If you're selling high-end products, it might make your products look inferior. Tracking ROAS It's difficult to track where your customers are coming from unless you turn your ad 
into some form of coupon. Magazine pros. So, what are the advantages for advertising in the magazine? Affordability. It's still cheaper than running commercials on the radio and TV. Ease of production. You can design and write your own copy. Longer retention. People subscribe to the magazines they like and will usually read every page of it. Portability. Readers can read anytime and anywhere they want. Effective targeting. If you work in the food industry, you can look into advertising in the Food Network magazine. If you sell sporting goods, then Sports Illustrated. Focus on local customers. Advertise in your local magazines to let your neighbors know about your business. Inserts coupons. Draw your customers to your business with coupons. Sharp images. Compared to newspaper, magazine ads look sharper and more vibrant, and therefore more appealing to the public eye. Established trust. Magazine articles are pretty well respected. Ad acceptance. Readers are cool with the ads in the magazine because the products or services are usually relevant to the magazines they're subscribed to. Magazine cons. So what are the disadvantages for advertising in the magazine? Less frequent exposures. If you're advertising in a monthly magazine, by the time the next issue rolls around, readers probably don't recall ever seeing your ad from a month ago. Make your marketing campaign less effective. Declining circulation and readership. Just like the newspaper, there's less and less people reading the magazines. Longer lead time. If you're in a hurry to let the world know about your business or your latest product, then this might not be ideal because it could take a few months before an ad is published. Tracking ROAS. It's hard to tell where your customers are coming from. Okay, I believe we've covered everything we needed to know about print advertising. In the second part of the series, we will be covering radio advertising. I just realized how long this video is and I really appreciate it if you're still sticking with me. So I'm going to let you in on an insider secret. It's something that very, very, very few people know about and you won't ever find it on a rate card because you can save so much money using this technique. And quite frankly, the publishers don't like it when you mention it. This advertising technique is called remnant space advertising. Newspaper publishers are always looking for advertisers to fill as much space as possible. Otherwise, the wasted space is just another source of revenue lost. With remnant space advertising, you can save up to 90% of the listed price. For example, if the rate is $10 per column inch and there's a 90% discount, then you only have to pay a dollar per column inch. If you are interested in learning more about remnant space advertising, head on over to my friend's page at www.jeffreydopkin.com and I will also leave the link in the video description below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!